Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Sylvia. I know this is kind of an awkward angle, but I just wanted to jump on here and do a quick video for you. So today is Thursday, January 11th, and I just got home from work and I'm just kind of relaxing for a minute. And I just wanted to discuss a couple things. So first off, I just wanted to say that I cannot believe it is almost the middle of January and I haven't purchased a bag. I know I'm becoming obsessive about that, but I am really excited about the fact that I haven't purchased a bag. I was speaking to my husband last night and we were talking about, I don't know, I don't even remember what we were talking about, but then I was like, you know what? I'm pretty proud of myself. I haven't purchased a bag. And he goes, yeah, you're right. You haven't purchased a bag. And I said, when was the last time I purchased a bag? And he said, I have no idea because to him, it's all blur, you know? Oh, that bag? Oh, yeah. Didn't you just get that bag? That's his reaction. He doesn't really care. He thinks whatever makes you happy. So, which can be good and it can be bad too. Um, so I went ahead and looked in my YouTube um, history and I realized I haven't purchased a bag since December. Again, big deal, right? Well, I purchased my fossil Sydney satchel bag and then I ended up returning it because it was defective and then I had some issues with the return. They resolved them. Everything worked out. But then I was thinking prior to that, when was the last time, what was the last bag that I brought into my collection? And I realized it was my Tory Burch uh, crossbody bag, the Robinson crossbody bag. And I purchased that back in October. And I thought, wow, I went three whole months without really bringing a brand new bag into my collection. I'm pretty impressed. So that's one thing that I wanted to share with you. I am pretty impressed. I have not purchased a bag since October and kept it. Oops. So I am going on three months of not having a, a new bag, which shouldn't be a big deal, but to me it is a big deal. I am planning on making a nice uh, purchase from Kate Spade, but I'm just waiting for the right Ebates. And for those of you who do e Ebates, um, you know you get cash back. And so right now they're only offering 3% and I'm looking for at least 6 to 10% back. And as soon as I see that, I'm going to purchase it because I have a coupon. So I'm really excited. Um, and for those of you who don't know, it's the Jackson Street um, satchel in the pebbled leather. And I'm really excited. Um, the other thing I want to share with you is the fact that I have been looking online and I have been looking at Macy's, Bloomingdale's, Nordstrom, Macy's, Bloomingdale's, Nordstrom. And I think there's one other place. Where do I look? Oh, in Kate Spade. I have been looking at their websites, um, not because I'm planning on purchasing something, but because I like to see what's on sale. I've noticed I love to know what the deals are. I love to see a good sale. So for Macy's Blooming Nails and Nordstrom's, I have set up wish lists. And I know that seems kind of dangerous, right? But <laughs> I have been setting these wish lists up because I want to see what I really like. I want to see, okay, I occasionally look at my wish list, maybe once a week, twice a week, depending if I add. And sometimes I'll go back and say, wow, I wanted that bag. Delete. And it kind of gives me a chance to think about the bag before I just impulse purchase it. There are certain things that I just, I mean, we've all made an impulse purchase. And there are certain bags I have impulse purchased. And I have I wouldn't say regretted, but ended up selling because they just didn't work out for me because I maybe I didn't give them enough thought. So I find that with putting things in my wish list, it is helping me and it giving me more time to think about my purchase before I actually make it. So just so you know that in each of those um, three websites, so in um, Macy's, Bloomingdale's, and um, Nordstrom's, I have that, um, Kate Spade, um, Jackson Street bag, because I want to see who puts it on first, who puts it on sale first. Each store offers a different color or a variation of different colors, and I just kind of want to keep an eye on it. So I, 
just want to say that you know what it is okay to look it is okay it is fine to look but um to actually make that purchase it's something that you really have to think about well i know i do not you but i do and so i just wanted to share those couple things one i haven't made a purchase and that's to me a really big deal now slgs are a whole other story <laughs> But I haven't purchased one of those either, and the last time I purchased one was in December, and it's only because I got a good deal. So, anyways, I guess the moral of the story is it's okay to look as long as you don't impulsively make that purchase without really thinking about it. And I feel like I have been doing a lot more thinking rather than a lot more of just clicking and saying, send it to me, right? ship it <laughs> buy it you know so I'm pretty impressed and I hope that I can continue down this path I do love bags I do love SLGs but I do want to be wiser and smarter with my decisions so thanks so much for taking the time to watch this video and I hope I um you know haven't been too scatterbrained um I hope you enjoyed it thank you bye